Hey, what's going on, guys? Tertiary Rookie here, and welcome back to another Minecraft mining tutorial for version 1.15. Uh, in this tutorial, we are going to be going over how you can build your mod, um, export it as a jar, and uh, put it on Curse Forge uh, for people to download it. So obviously you might not be using this uh, right now, um, but this may be useful for the future. Um, I do know a lot of people already know how to do this, but uh, I think also a large majority don't know how to do this. Um, and it's very simple, um, so that's what I'm going to be showing you today. So uh, you actually don't need Eclipse open for this. Um, so you can actually go ahead and close Eclipse. Okay, and now we can open our file explorer and just go um, onto our mod workspace. So I'm just going to open this right here. Okay, so now what you're going to want to do is open command prompt and just a cd to this directory to your mod folder and you're just going to want to run the command gradaloo uh, build and when you hit enter that will basically make your mod into a jar so just wait for this to complete it shouldn't take too long um, but if it throws any errors you do need to read the error now, I'm hoping it will throw me an error so I can show you this, um, but I don't know, it might not. you just got to wait, it shouldn't take too long, it generally doesn't take that long. Um, let's just move that down because I broke things. Um, it should only take about a minute at the max, really, it, it shouldn't take much longer than that. So, yep, there you go, 43 seconds. So it didn't actually give me an error, but if it does give you an error, you do need to read uh, what the error says um, and go back to the file path. Um, if you need to, you can run a Granlu, uh build and then dash dash stack trace, and that will basically uh, tell you any error that you're having and it will tell you where it's coming from and basically how you can fix it um, but that's it now for command prompt um, now you may be wondering where is uh, your built mod and it should be in uh, build uh, libs and so there it is mod id 1.0.jar uh, um, you can obviously rename this so i'm going to rename this to tutorial mod um, dot 1.0 uh, uh, yeah, yeah, um, oh, not like that, I didn't mean to do that, it doesn't really matter what you name this, this is just a file that's going to show up on Curse Forge, um, and when people download it, so now obviously you can go on to, uh, Curse Forge, so I'm just going to bring my browser over, okay, and you can just search Curse Forge, dot com and just click on minecraft uh, it will bring you to mod packs but you just need to go to mods and once you've done that you just click start project um, you will need to go ahead and log in okay there we go and it brings me back to this screen which is a bit annoying um, just click start project again and here we go. So first, you will want to change uh, mod packs to uh, mods, and you need to make sure you have Minecraft selected because obviously you can create mods for any of these games. But uh, we're modding Minecraft, if you didn't know. Um, and then this is just the name of it. So mine would just be uh, uh, I'll call it Turtie's Tutorial Mod. I'm not actually going to upload this to Curse Forge because it won't get accepted, um, but I'm just going to show you what you need to do. Um, and then it's just the summary of your mod. So, um, uh, a mod created through my 1.15 tutorials uh, for modding. A description, you just go give a description. 
um, as you can see I'm a pro description writer there you go that's my description um, and then you got this which is just like how you format it um, but you uh, yeah that's fine uh, you genuinely want this one normally I thought the other one's a bit weird um, and then licensing um, so if you don't know what license to use just uh, click here need help picking a license click there and that will uh, go through all the licenses uh, but generally you want uh, all rights reserved um, well yeah I mean it depends I would advise you click on this link and just uh, see see what one would suit you better um, and then you've got the categories so whatever type it is uh, so I'm just going to do miscellaneous um, and as a secondary uh, I don't know it doesn't matter for mine because um, I'm covering all of this uh, I will just do API and library whatever and you can obviously choose another one here so like add-ons and uh, technology uh, twitch integration I don't know um, and then you need to choose a logo which is 400 pixels by 400 pixels obviously I don't have a logo for this tutorial mod um, so yeah and then you got the primary language which is just uh, E and US for me um, you've got a few little settings so allow comments uh, whether it's experimental um, which you generally don't want um, and once you've done that you just click start project and um, yep you just click oh great I actually have to upload a file uh, can I just like upload one of my thumbnails <laughs> okay I can't that's lovely okay let's see what I can upload um, ah, I, might, I might be able to upload that is that 400 by 400 I think so yes Oh, it didn't work. It's smaller than 400 by 400. Oh no. Um, let's see if I can find one that's bigger than 400 by 400 then. Is, is that bigger? I have some random art in it. No, that's not bigger. <laughs> Come on. I must have an image which is bigger than 400 by 400 somewhere. Uh, maybe block bench logo. Do you reckon that's bigger than 400 by 400? Why is it not doing anything? Ah. I don't think it was bigger than 400 by 400. Oh man. Oh. Um. Yeah, I think I just broke Curse Forge. But anyways, once you've done that, um, you just go to Files and you click Upload File. Um, uh, oh, oh, come on! Now it's too big. <laughs> yeah, you you basically just click Upload File. Um, you do the change log, um, whatever. You can go to the Images tab and add uh, images. Um, all that jazz. Um, and that's pretty much it then you have a mod um, and anyone can go ahead and download that um, as I said at the start of this um, this might not be important to you at the moment um, a lot of people probably won't have finished their mod yet um, we still have a lot to go through a lot more on like machines fluids crops um, loads and loads of things um, and in fact I will show you my Trello board because I know a lot of people can't bother to go on it um, so oh, I actually want to bring this over because I have some strain. Oh no, never mind. That is the right Trello board. It automatically came onto it. So uh, the link of this is in my description, but you can see what I've done and what I haven't done, uh, and what I'm intending to do. So like you go all the way over here to super advanced. You got mix-ins, which I'm actually not going to do. Um, I've changed. I've changed that. Um, uh, where's the delete? There it is. Delete. I'm not doing mixins um, because actually oh, it's too late now. Uh, I'm not doing mixins and I'm not doing core mods. Um, and I know a lot of people want them, but I can't um, 
take the risk in in doing a tutorial on them um, and that is because I know a lot of people will misuse them and misuse of core mods and mix-ins can end really badly um, like really badly it can screw up loads of mods um, it will have very little compatibility if you don't know what you're doing um, you know there's not a huge amount you can uh, do um, also one thing I am going to add is AT that's that is something I just thought about um, because that is safe to do uh, um, so yeah as you can see we've got advancements config dependencies crops doors slabs uh, fence gates walls ladders torches custom spawn eggs which will be soon uh, brewing uh, grass and dirt blocks, animated textures, music disc, sounds, custom bow and arrow, custom model items, AT, fluids, neutral entities, hostile entities, extended loot tables, 3D armor, structures, enchantments, custom entity AI, simple machine with tile entity interaction, connected textures, connected models, commands, special tools, items that hold data, capabilities, tinkers, compatibility, compatibility if it's in 1.15, which I don't know if it is, uh, mod book, GL, GL stuff, bosses, keybinds, multi-blocks, projectiles, overriding vanilla recipes, potions, fluid storage, packages, custom portals, custom workstation, entity animations, universal storage block, custom dungeon, multi-structures, testers, ters, uh, whatever you want to call them, uh, eye testers or eye ters, whatever you want to call them, particles, custom model loaders, en energy tutorials, guns, world types and updating to 1.16. Obviously energy tutorials contains cable storage generators and consumers and that was tiring. I don't know why I did that but I did so deal with it. Um, so yeah that's that's the end of this uh, video. Um, if you guys did enjoy uh, please do be sure to smash your face into that like button and you might as well subscribe as well. Uh, if you really enjoyed please do be sure to share it and uh, yeah I will see you guys in the next video. Goodbye.